Welcome to Animal World, where the wild comes to life. Join us on a thrilling journey through the untamed wonders of our planet. From the depths of the oceans to the heart of the savanna, we'll uncover the astonishing stories of Earth's incredible creatures. Get ready to be a mate. Number one. Have you ever wondered how can geckos climb walls? How can they be sticky without actually being sticky? They can stick to just about any surface. They can cling tight enough to do this, yet let go with almost no effort. And they can do this over and over again, and their grip never wears out. The key to their climbing prowess lies in their feet. Unlike most lizards, geckos have specialized toe pads covered in millions of microscopic hairs called seti. Each seti branches into even smaller structures called spatulae, and these tiny structures interact with the surface at a molecular level, creating a phenomenon known as van der Waals forces. And the cumulative effect of millions of these interactions creates a powerful adhesive force. They can control the grip by changing the angle of their toe pads that touch the surface. By doing that, they can release the grip. And this concept inspired scientists to create new materials with incredible gripping properties. Number two, this lizard can breathe underwater. Meet the water anole, the scuba lizard. Water anole, or Anelis aquaticus, is a species of anole from the family Dactyloidea, native to western Costa Rica. They have a unique ability in that they can breathe underwater by diving into rivers or streams to avoid predators. They are technically rebreathing the oxygen from their lung using nasal air bubble, which is made possible by a thin layer of air between the water and their highly hydrophobic skin, giving them a silvery appearance. That can be seen among terrestrial anole species as well. They breathe by exhaling air from the lungs into the thin pocket of air, and the nasal pocket will expand to form a bubble. Then they simply inhale the air back, literally recycling the air. They can stay underwater for up to 20 minutes, and studies suggest that they do this to escape predators and wait until the danger has passed. A great example on how animals can adapt to their environments. Thanks for joining us on this wild adventure through the animal kingdom. If you enjoyed learning about these incredible creatures, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode of Animal World. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the animal world with us.